In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Good morning, dear friends. I would like to welcome you all to participate in this Holy Mass and receive the blessings of God through the Holy Eucharist. Today our Holy Mother Church celebrates the feast of St. Michael, Gabriel and St. Raphael, the Archangels. Do you believe in angels? Angels are the messengers sent by God to protect us, to guide us, and to lead us in the right path. And these archangels who are sent with a great message and they do guide us and protect us and lead us every day of our life. Let us pray during this Mass that the guardian angels that God has entrusted every one of us may lead us in the right path. Let us ask God's pardon and mercy that we may orderly participate in this Holy Mass. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who dispose in marvelous order ministries both angelic and human, graciously grant that our life on earth may be defended by those who watch over us as they minister perpetually to you in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the book of Revelation. War broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels battled against the dragon. The dragon and its angels fought back, but they did not prevail and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The huge dragon, the ancient serpent, who is called the devil and Satan, who deceived the old world, was thrown down to earth, and its angels were thrown down with it. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come the kingdom of our God and the authority of his anointed. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who accuses them both, accuses them before our God day and night. They conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word there of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. Therefore, rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response or your psalm. Our response. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. 
I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. A response. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things, your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Our response. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. All the kings of the earth shall give thanks to you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth, and they shall sing of the ways of the Lord. Great is the glory of the Lord. Our response. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed the Lord, all you angels, you ministers who do his will. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, He is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, You will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the gospel of the Lord be praised. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today our Holy Mother Church honors the archangels Saint Michael, Saint Gabriel, Saint Raphael. These angels are archangels because they brought a great message of importance to the humanity. First of all, St. Michael, who defended us in the battle against the evil one, who is the warrior, who is the protector uh, sent by God for us. St. Gabriel, who brought the great message of the birth of Christ, was sent to and a, a virgin uh, who is to be who is to conceive the savior of the world it was a great message of importance for all humanity it was the message of salvation it was a message of redemption and it was brought by saint gabriel the messenger the archangel of god saint raphael we would see him in the old testament was sent by God to protect and cure um, Tobias and Tobit. He was sent to heal the illness of Tobit, especially his eyesight. Therefore, he reminds us of healing of God. His name, uh, Raphael, means the healing from God. And Gabriel means the strength of God. And St. Michael means uh, who is like God. Indeed, he is like God who protects us from all our dangers and difficulties, especially from our enemies. As we celebrate the Feast of Archangels, do you believe in angels? Do you trust in the presence of the angels amidst us? 
we do have the angels we do have the guardian angels who are sent by god to protect us protect especially our souls against the evil one that we might be saved and finally come to his presence therefore let us pray to our guardian angels the archangels to protect us in our battle against the evil one and also bring us safely to the presence of god let us also pray for all the law enforcement officers who have sent michael as their guardian angel and protector may he protect all our law enforcement officers from all the dangers and difficulties as they are exposed to very dangerous life every day as they exercise their office and let us also pray for every one of us may the guardian angels the archangels protect us guide us and lead us to god amen god our loving father we offer before you all our prayers and intentions today we especially pray for pope francis our bishop robert daly our pastor for the gym floor all the priests all the lay ministers all the deacons that they may always protect guide and lead the people in the right path we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer lord we pray for all the national leaders may uh, may they always work for the good of the common people we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer lord we pray for all the law and law enforcement officers who have saint michael as their patron saint may saint michael protect them as they exercise their duties every day we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer lord we pray for all the sick people in our community lord touch them and heal them we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer lord we pray for all the people who asked our prayers lord you know their daily needs kindly grant them their needs we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer we pray for all the people who are deceased in our family and in our community especially we pray for ernest lavo leo marki for whom we offer this mass today god our loving father we offer before you all these prayers and all the prayers that are in our hearts kindly grant them through jesus christ our lord amen Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed be God forever by this mystery of mingling of water and wine may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in humanity blessed are you lord god of all creation for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become for us our spiritual drink Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours. may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name 
for our good and good of all his holy church. We offer you a sacrifice of praise, O Lord, humbly entreating that as these gifts are borne by the ministry of angels into the presence of your majesty, so you may receive them favorably and make them profitable for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory. And by their great dignity and splendor, you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him, the multitude of angels extols you majesty and we are united with them in exultant adoration as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and was willingly entered into his passion, he took the bread and giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body, and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, all the clergy and all the people who are participating in this Mass today. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. In a special way, we remember and pray for Ernest Lovewa, Leo Markey, for whom we offer this Mass today. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, and all the Archangels, Saint Michael, Saint Gabriel, Saint Raphael, whom we celebrate today, Saint Trace of Calcutta, Saint Pope John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together let us pray to the Father in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. In the blessing of the body and blood of Jesus Christ, not bring you to judgment and condemnation, but through loving mercy be for me protection, mind and body, any feeling and body. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to His supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having been nourished with heavenly bread, we beseech you, beseech you humbly, O Lord, that drawing from it new strength under the faithful protection of your archangels, we may advance boldly along the way of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Dear friends, I would like to wish you all a beautiful day. God bless you all. The Catholic Church confirms the existence of angels and that they are active in our lives. So what is an angel? What is an archangel? And what makes them so special? The Catechism states the existence of the spiritual non-corporeal beings that sacred scripture usually calls angels is a truth of faith. The word angel comes from the Greek word Agalos, which means messenger. The Bible recognizes nine choirs of angels. Each choir has a name and a purpose. The Bible also mentions archangels. Archangels are recognized as leaders, and they are entrusted by God with special duties. The Bible and the church recognizes seven archangels, although just three are known by name, Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. The name Michael means one who is like God. His will is focused, immovable, and entirely driven towards accomplishing goodness. He is the protector of souls and wields his powerful sword against the poisonous and indictive aspirations of the devil, who Jesus calls a murderer from the beginning and the father of lies. Saint Michael the Archangel visited three children at Fatima. Lucia, Francisco, and Jacinta in 1917 to prepare them for the work of the Blessed Virgin. Saint Michael the Archangel said to them, Fear not, I am the Angel of Peace. Pray with me. Then he prostrated himself and repeated three times, My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg thee forgiveness for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. During a visit to the sanctuary of St. Michael the Archangel, Pope John Paul II said, The battle against the devil is the principal task of St. Michael the Archangel. Scripture narrates the same truth. Then war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels battled against the dragon. Although the dragon and his angels fought back, they were overpowered and lost their place in heaven. The huge dragon, the ancient serpent known as the devil or Satan, the seducer of the whole world, was driven out. He was hurled down to earth and his minions with him. Gabriel means God is my strength. He was sent from God to Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, favored one, the Lord is with you. 
Pope St. Gregory the Great wrote, He, Gabriel, came to announce the one who appeared as a humble man to quell the cosmic powers. Thus God's strength announced the coming of the Lord of the heavenly powers, mighty in battle. Raphael means God is my health. He is one of seven angels who enter and serve before the glory of the Lord. The meaning of Raphael's name reflects the fact that he touched Tobit's eyes in order to heal them of blindness. St. Augustine teaches in reference to the angel's office in nature. Angel is the name of their office, not of their nature. If you seek the name of their nature, it is spirit. If you seek the name of their office, it is angel. From what they are, spirit. From what they do, angel. In other words, the office of the angels is one of mission, as messengers of God. While their nature is defined as non-physical, personal, spiritual beings created by God. The Catechism teaches in reference to the angel's office. With their whole beings, the angels are servants and messengers of God. Because they always behold the face of my Father who is in heaven, they are the mighty ones who do His word, hearkening to the voice of His word. The angels are truly beautiful. As we reflect upon them, we are drawn towards a deeper and clearer understanding of God's love for man. For billions of angels, to be sure, are given the personal charge of looking after God's children as their guardian angels. Every moment of each day, day after day, year after year, our faithful guardian angels stand at our side focused on our well-being with far greater power and intensity than we ourselves can summon, since the strength of their angelic will is far greater than ours. Let us thank God each day for their protection and guidance, giving to us great advantage here below, for they see the reality of our life in clarity, which is something we often fail to do. God has commended to each of us an angel for our very own. What love has God for His children, for those He has created in the image of His incarnate Son?